squat scorn this video is sponsored by Squarespace a website builder so wonderfully simple you'd think it played for bath scorn sometime in the year that is no longer last year but feels like this year Rugby's favourite disco politician and former Argentina scrum half, Gus Picho, told the world if elected president of Rugby Values Inc, he would make funding a AAA video game version of the sport a major priority. But with Grandad made out of hand, Bill Beaumont beating him to the position, instead, responsibility falls to French developers Echo Software, creators of Garfield, the threat of the space lasagna on Nintendo Wii, to fill the gap. Rugby 18, their first attempt was a mess, but Rugby 20 was promising if flawed, a game made more in the image of modern rugby than a Jonah Lomu game from 25 years ago. So, with two more years to eliminate the kinks, how does their new effort, Rugby 22, stand up? In an attempt to answer this, myself and my brother slash rugby best writer slash co-host of the Rugby World Cup podcast I do slash, you know, new editor type person here at the channel sometimes, Will Owens sat down to play the game on PS5 in the start of what is going to be a new series on this channel. Rugby 22. The 22nd rugby. Okay, Cheslin Colby, Andrew Dupont, Will Skelton. Yeah. For some reason, who is the same size? Kickoff match. Amateur with tutorials. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Should we stick to international teams? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Is there a good fit? Is like Australia or France? Australia France is the best fixture. It is. It is. I'll be the Wallabies. Okay. Uh, yeah. And they're both 385. This is oh, perfect. Fantastic. Roman Untermat. It's a really good Roman Untermat. It is, isn't it? Move up the pitch, pass the ball using L and R. Oh, is he trying to get you to do this pass? Ah. So is that it? No. <laughs> oh, because you're aiming. Oh, at look line. at that. So oh, you're okay. using the. So you hold it down and it, it slides and the along the slide. Yeah. The, the little tracker, the longer you hold it down. Right. Which is an alright system, to be fair. That's quite nice. That yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a difficult skill to master. I think. Yeah. So that's good. That's okay. that encapsulates it's the pass. same. Oh, okay. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Because on the previous one, you were using the um, actual stick. Yeah, and you can choose how many men you're missing out as well. So that's quite nice. Tackling. Right. Okay. Uh, press circle at the right time to tackle the opposition player. Okay. Get done. Uh, R2 is to sprint. Oh, we're going to move. <laughs> Suddenly your key is. <laughs> okay, this is the important thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Press circle to bring in a player. Uh, you can bring two players at the same time by holding. Okay. Oh, okay. It feels a bit like a shy training session. It does. They've got a lot of queuing. It's not It's, it's not good. Jumps like out back and looking cold, aren't they? Okay, yeah, scrum. Oh, they've got scrum machines and everything. I like the pile of balls they've got there as well. That's it's a lot for a performance session. session. Put the ball in straight. Oh, what? Yeah, good lad, good lad. Do you want to go? Yeah. Shit house refs, man. Once the ball is at number eight's feet, use oh, R to keep the ball in the scrum. Oh, they've added that. Oh, that's tasty. So They kind of juggle it, there you are. Yeah, yeah. The R at the bottom. Oh, oh this, this is, is class, this is. Cool. They, again, they thought about rugby almost too yeah. much. This is good though, I, I like this. I did like I never considered that for a rugby game. Mm. And I think That's because generally the game is automatically under scrums, right? This allows you, I imagine, to either try and continue with a dominant scrum mm. or try and use channel one quick ball. Yeah. The scrum is going backwards and yeah. struggling. Yeah. Uh, which I think is a really nice idea, because that is a big part of the game. Okay, line out. Okay. So the closest to the green circle, it's like, it's, a, it's like a leap beat agent on Nintendo DS. Okay. So you want to get the closest to the circle you can. Okay. Oh, what was that? Back of, oh, back of line to open throw. L and R, L2 and R2. And then oh, it that's down. tasty. Hey, well, we did all right. Yeah. You yeah, know, scrum, we're great at the scrum. Great scrumages. Um, Many people say that about us. Okay, yeah. time for the match. Oh, Cameron Wokey's yeah. lost his face. Um, oh, it's so it's licensed, but not had any faces. Ben Cage reading the script. Okay, are you ready? I'm born ready. Oh, I can't remember how to do anything. As they've sped up the breakdown so yeah, much, yeah. and like I'm, it makes it quite difficult to live with. Trying to do quick ball, but I feel like I can more than any of a rugby game. Sure, yeah, ball. yeah. Like I feel like I'm slowly trying to break you down at the phases, which is never the case. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're manipulating the defense quite a lot. Oh. 
Honestly. That was really satisfying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that I just worked through ten phases or something. Yeah, yeah. From the kickoff. And yeah, it's a bit floaty and so on still. Sure, yeah, yeah. The passing's but still that, a tiny bit clunky, less so than normal. That, because it doesn't feel like during the Lonely Rugby or something. You know, no. it feels like its own game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is nice because people have been trying to join Lone Rugby for a long yeah, time. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm really intrigued by this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Defending's so fun. Was it? No. Oh. So, yeah, you what just is, press. Why is it not letting me, let me do the kickoff the way I wanted to? Am I definitely playing? Oh, he's got yeah, I think so. Quite a risky no, no, I'm not making sense. I'm not playing. Creative. Right. <laughs> So you hadn't realised you weren't playing. I hadn't realised. I thought, yeah, I thought I was just doing badly. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. I'm you're in. in. You're in. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh. oh. Immediate impact. Oh. And it's an interception. I like how before I said defending Ooh. is really fun, when it actually wasn't defending. You actually weren't defending. Do you want to make any changes? Yes. With Dermot, you're coming on. Go I'll away. See you little piss boy. Yeah. Oh, hello. Look who I've got. Oh, no. Terrible. Oh. <laughs> see you, I've now got to yeah, press the opposite button to pass. Yeah, yeah. Direction. Ooh. Is that over the post? Yeah. Yeah. Love that they actually the winger actually gets back and covers. Yeah. There's a chance on the outside with pedal. They took the ball in and it's still well, there. I guess you'd be amazed how often that doesn't happen. Previously. Yeah. Oof. What a finish by Billy Ash. What a finish. <laughs> Crucial <laughs> stuff. Oh, he's boxed in. Galloway's a great attempt. That is out on the floor, isn't it? Penno is sort of blaming Untermack, just screaming oh, around, right. doing his full Penno. Kept alive. The room on the outside. He's keeping the ball in play. <laughs> yeah, that's me. It's quite a nice try. Yeah, yeah. Look at Sarah Bai. He's not lifting, he's lifting it, but his face has gone straight in the crotch. Like, face first, bam! He's having a treat, is Sarah Bai. Basically, she needs to keep it away from the Dupont. That goes for everyone that's played France for like four years. And... Oh no! They've got the ball back. They have to get the ball to the winger. They must get oh, Matt Phillips starts it and finishes it. What a, what a, what a, what a real player he is. He is a real player, in fairness. Yeah. Uh, Fianga, uh, his head just got absorbed into Phillips' armpit. <laughs> They've nailed Quay's tattoos, but nothing else about him. <laughs> that is not quite oh, yeah. but it's no, exactly, exactly the right tattoos. It. Yeah. We they've just they've just tattooed some that's other that's poor that's guy that's and told him he's Quaid now. <laughs> that's a nice squat by Tame McDermott, who looks more like um, really? if Adam Ashley Cooper had been in Garth and Rankin's Dark Place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like that. He looks like an extreme. Paul, really good Paul Villamsa. That's a though. very good Paul Villamsa. That's where all the time's gone. All the yeah. time has gone into making Paul Villamsa real life actor. You know what? I think that's the most accurate Paul Willemser of any video game ever. I think so. Like, there was not a Paul Willemser that accurate in Last of Us 2. Exactly. What were your first impressions of the game? I enjoyed that. I think that it's the, the controls are naturally taking me a bit of time to get mm. used to. Um, we've not really seen enough of the set piece kind of bit. Uh, or, or we've not mastered it enough yeah, yet yeah, yeah. to kind of like have a proper judgement on that. But that was fun. I think, as you say, like, the ability to actually control attacking play was mm. like... It was quite satisfying. I found that first try where it took me like 10 phases of break and not looking down. Yeah. Really satisfying when I got through yeah, the end. Yeah. Um, it opened up a bit more as we went on because I think we're both learning to defend. Sure. Uh, but I imagine if we both got good at defence, that would be really satisfying. Yeah, too. yeah. If we both got good at the game, it yeah. would be quite good. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, yes, we play as club teams this time. Okay, okay. 
the Premier League. So we've got Bath, they're accurate. Bristol, Coventry, instead of Wasps, I guess. Exeter, Gloucester, Langhorn Drive. Who are Langhorn Drive? Psst, psst. I've since looked this up. There's not a rugby team called Langhorn Drive. Langhorn Drive is a street, and on that street is the Twickenham Stoop, which is the home of Harlequins. However, in my research, I start to wonder. What if there was a team called Langhorn Drive? What sort of players would they have? Would Jake White be linked to this job? And most importantly, what would their website look like? I got so carried away that I sprinted straight to Squarespace. Squarespace makes it so easy to make a beautiful website. Inside mere moments, I let my imagination get carried away. I was adding merchandise for a team that didn't exist to a catalogue, building a shop face. I was making squad listings for our star players, Mick Dombrandt and Peter Smith, the shit cousins of the Harlequin's contemporaries. Langhorn Drive wasn't real, but the website was so glorious, so easy to make. They started to feel real in my heart and on the web page in front of me. And if you want to make your own website, perhaps spur up your own actual real rugby clubs page, you can do so by running to Squarespace yourself. Simply click the link in the description and use the offer code SQUIDRUGBY to save some money so you can spend it on signing Bill Northmore and Barnaby Care instead. Squarespace, it's great. Anyway, the other premiership teams are fake, but otherwise, as you can imagine, back to the video. I'm just gonna pause you there. There's no MLR. No MLR. Well, that's legitimately just fine. Yeah. So you all see us to step up and become best league. It's a good for Issei. It's a good solid surge, yeah. Now, I want to know if Dan Fisher is a big name. I, I will stick to my allegiances. I feel like I've got to play the Ospreys. Okay, okay, fair enough. They are only six um, points worse than France. I'll go for Ulster. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Throw off. Not kick off, throw off. Oh, wow. Never heard that before. Connection Arena. Also, this is a banger. Oh, they've got all the stadiums back from Rugby 20 that you loved. Like oh, yes, the Aaron Park, Arena. Aaron Arena, the Aaron A. Aaron's Arena. Yeah. Diamond Arena, Steve's Park. Yeah, let's play at the Connection Arena. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like we've really got it. You think? Uh, so no Alan Wynn? There's Alan Wynn. Come on. <laughs> Alan Wynn in the reserves. Do I want to make tackles or not? I think you want vibes, my man. I think I want vibes. Vibes are what you're after. So Matt Prothero ought to play. He's staying in. Adam Beard is also going to play because he's uh, world class. Uh, Stephen Myler. Yeah, he has to play. If you if you're playing players because they're world class, if that's that's a criteria you're picking on, Stephen Myler has to start. Bradley Roberts. Ah oh, yes, you're starting, my man. Mike Lowry. We Mike Lowry. Oh yeah, yeah. is he down here? There he oh, is. He, he has to play. He has to play. He's down as not a fullback, despite oh, being okay. in position. Well. Up yours, rugby. And then, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna pour a Jacob Stockton at eight. Holy shit. Uh, Jacob Stockton is now rated 38. I am also, however, gonna have a look at the tactics. So we can choose between winger, penetrating, wide. No, I want my wingers out wide. Fullback, far. Yeah. You, you don't need me to agree with your want, tactics. I just want my fullback to be miles away. Yeah. I don't wanna to speak to him. Uh, they've got the office down, they have to play 2 4 2. Which feels ambitious. So wide penetrating classic. Attacking one three three one type A. Defence wise, we've got Blitz Classic Drift. Set plays. Oh. No, no. There's one just called Rugby League. Springbok loop. You know what? Let's do some rugby league. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do me. Oh yeah, yeah. Got got everybody's favourite move. Dummy move is a switch. DSP. Oh, yes. Um, the move that everybody loves to run if they've not practiced. French switch, you've sold it to me. Cool. We Here we are. Uh, the Red Premier Sports has gone to BT Sport because Nick Mullins is doing this now. Of course. Of course. Um, are we ready for some URC plus best league action? Yeah. Second best league. Oh, Stephen Marlow, best player. A game saving tackle. Game saving? We are two minutes in. Oh, that's a bionic stiff arm by Morgan. <laughs> Great line of commentary. Oh, Reese Webb, so good. Off to a flying start. Reese Webb, they put his dyed hair in. Yeah. They updated this very recently. Yeah, yeah. Put Reese Webb, very specific. Dyed blonde hair in. Yeah. That is how accurate this game is. Yeah. But is Steven Myler able to miss? If I miss this, the game is officially terrible and inaccurate. This game, don't buy it, is horrendously broken. And I'm going home. I'm already home. 
My lorry time, boys. Ooh. See ya. The ball in, and it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Great kick by Alan O'Connor. Burns finds his mate. There are huge opportunities on the wind. In they go to the rock. Huge hole down the middle. Oh, Ian Henderson yes. right through. And that did feel like I was really scrambling for the Yeah, bench. yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of attacking a little bit more. Yeah, Because yeah. I felt like I actually managed to string some phases together there. So I finally got to the level you were when you scored that first try. Yes. Manages to get the offload away. Now we're playing, lads. Go on, big Bob Balakoon. Ooh. Seventh pace! Oh, so much of the stuff. Seventh pace! I thought I'd blown that. Yeah, I did. It's classic Luke Morgan. Do you yeah. remember when he scored that try? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember that time when the commentator says that he's got seventh pace? Oh. The game's yes. alright. It's alright. The game's all right. the game I take back the thing. I can nail oh. not buying it. Conversions from the touch line. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You're off again, are you? <laughs> I've got a tactic here. Look, it's worked for Luke Morgan so far in his career of randomly grubbing it, then being quicker than everyone. He's still not as good as Alan Dell. Uh, you can bring oh, your. What? Why have you done it really fancy? We should do this in real rugby. Slow there we down. are. Yeah, there we are. You can adapt the deck. <laughs> Playing George Ford mode. <laughs> you can adapt the, your line deck. Oh, yes, Owen Watkin. No, not, not the wrong road. Just fend your people off left, right, 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 right. Oh, no. Um. Ooh. Oh, no. I read that. Completely read that. Gaps opening up out wide. He's managed oh no! Oh no! I've been absolutely mugged off there. No! The greatest player of all time. Oh, I see what you're going for. Yeah, that's how to keep the ball alive. Oh! Charge down! James Hugh, he's away! No! He passes the ball. Good one. Oh! Goddamn Myla! Quaid could never. He could never. He's tried. He's tried. But I need a closer bangle of this. Or oh, this game is terrible once again. This is your Alan Delvey. Here we go. Isn't it? Here we go. Steven Myla. Out oh. the back door to George North under the post. You beauty. Sometimes you just got to hold your hand up and realise that you've been beat by maybe the best player of all time. Steven Goddamn Myla. Put some respect in his name. Oh, I didn't even look at the best player. I wasn't time. even looking as I took the conversions because he's that good. Like he can just set the conversions automatically. It's like playing in like autopilot mode. You know, Stephen Myler's just better sure. than you yeah. could possibly be in this game. Yeah, yeah. Stephen Myler is better than you. Stephen Myler is better than you. Great pass. Just good hands. Just yeah, great hands. Definitely. Irish international. Oh, what? Check a quick throw. Check a quick throw. Oh, that's badass. Opportunity out wide. I was worrying how easy it got in the there. Pass. Do you see Balakoon running sideways there? Do you see him like moonwalking to try and keep up with you? So have a look on the replay. <laughs> what pace by just throwing it? Oh yeah, alright, we get it, you prick. There are possibilities out wide, concentrating oh, on the pass. Help. That was good. They are in place for the move. Oh! Everyone needs to time his run correct. Did you see? I accidentally just did like a loop thing. Did you just run it live? Did you just? Yeah, yeah. What did you do? I don't know. But this is an incredible. What a superb bit of rugby by also that was. Oh right, oh right. He's going straight for the line. And that's it. This has been a pasting for Ulster. When did the Ospreys last win by this margin? 2006? Toby Booth is going to be really happy with his boys. He's going to be really proud of the lads. Passes to Francis. The defence seems less effective out wide. 
the gripper is kind of OP, I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get. <laughs> I feel like you're a bit better at this game than I am. It's sort of starting to happen there. Yeah. Still, I'm better than I was at the start, which yeah, is where some You're getting better, and that's what matters. You know, it's about rugby values. It is about rugby values. It's about rugby values. It's also about getting the ball every now and then, which I'd like to do. I'm also not helping myself by throwing those passes to your players. Oh, the ball's passed. They must get the ball out. Okay. Of the <laughs> Oh, oh large so Robert. Right. Second best lead. Sharp passing. Oh, Bradley Roberts, he's off again. Oh, oh shit. And the end of the scrum half. Where? In they go to the rock. <laughs> he's trying to get Stephen Marley to try. O'Connor. Or right, I'm not going to drop goal. Will he go for it? Yes, drop goal by Beth. <laughs> no, no, no. I love that that's the most in the eight. What a like full on yeah, 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 yeah. swing. Yeah. yeah. I like um, his ball drop as well, where he throws yeah. it first. So, in terms of other modes, we've got quick match, which we've done. Online match, we give it a lock. I want to know we are playing this a week before the game's out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not going to find yeah. anyone. Training, which we've covered, but I know there's more training options there. Events take part in a series of challenges whilst playing to earn high quality rewards. Okay, right. It's like they're having FIFA, but there's different challenges that play oh, all the time. I see. My missions? A no mission? This is not. Oh, I feel like Tom Cruise, not the Wasp Soccer. <laughs> average team average is 65 team. as you average. Oh, because there's the ultimate team style effect. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> I thought you just had to play as bad. Obtain 50 players. Uh, mode Bougerard yeah. mode. So then, my collection. Matt Becker Yeah, there's a, there's a handful. There's a handful. These are the players I've unlocked. I think he's So is that like an ultimate team thing? Yeah. So should we right. create an ultimate team? Go for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sock. You can see a nice little ball drawn upon there. I can well. unlock different types of socks. What, what a bulge. You know, he's doing all right for himself, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a strong body, that chap. He's got a strong body, that chap. <laughs> yeah. If anyone wants to hire me for commentary jobs, then let me know. Nick Mullins just shuddered before yeah. losing so much work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that the ball says rugby on it. Oh, yes. I want the rest of the ball to be black, and then the word rugby in pink. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, what a ball that what is. What a ball! Can this we is, actually order this? This is somewhere? what the PS5 gets you, you know? Yeah. Previous consoles couldn't handle an all-black ball with the word rugby on it. Just had to be a generic blob. Yeah. Now you can come up with your own ball. You know, what? I've not even seen one of those in real life. I've not even seen one of those in real life. Hey, Gilbert, if you're watching this, or just rugby, you know, because Gilbert would put their name on there. If somebody could just send us a ball with just the word rugby on it, the hardliners, the brown bears, are these all? I like MLR how the thing is BRB. <laughs> they feel like MLR teams that are buffering. It's fine. You know what? They all feel like team names on The Apprentice. <laughs> yes. Buy booster packs. Here we are. Okay. Oh, hello. Epic forwards. This could be the first How ever many... booster pack bought on this game. That's true. You know what? I want some Italians. We're doing okay. a video in Italy at the minute. Yeah. We're going to buy Italians. I don't have enough points to buy Italians. Never mind. Standard. Yeah. Down for some standard. Okay. Is there a big reveal of what players are in there? I can open this here. Oh, it's exciting. Who have we got? Who have we got? Who have we got? A Georgian prop, that'll do me. Harry Glover, I know who he is, he's an England Sevens player. Levy Ioani. Look, I'm happy, I'm content with a Georgian prop. Yeah. That'll do me. Career though, because we have a look at career mode. Okay, team management. I assume this is the team which you picked. Yep. Finances and training. Bank account, we've got $800. Oh, wow. Skill improvement. We can buy some training for one of our players. Okay. We'll bring it home. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah! Yes. What a start! I like there's a little yellow card meter in the corner. Mm. It's quite a nice well, touch. That's a very satisfying. Arguably more satisfying than the ones they use on TV. He's still got it. Oh, what? Well, this, is, this should be a goal and a dropout. Yes, Ooh. it is! Okay. They haven't just gone drop out, so that says to me there will be 50 22s. Yeah. We're going club again? Yeah, might as well. Cool.
There's not that many leagues. No. They only Although that is true of rugby, isn't it? Yeah. But the, there's no Southern Hemisphere leagues, even unlicensed. Like, even in um, Rugby Challenge 4, where they don't have the rights to a lot of the leagues, they have a fictional version of that. The only team with a yeah. fictional version is the Premiership. And then obviously international teams. Yeah. You're right that, as you say, if you're Australian or something, and even if you wanted to create, like, the rugby support, mm. support uh, you don't really have the option to do that. You just kind of have to like play as Munster and pretend. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pick Damien Diolande, do you mind? Yeah, I do. Camera, let's go side Oh, line. yes. This is quite an exciting thought. Is that, oh, okay. okay. This is, we can yeah, bring it down lower if you want. Oh, I actually what kind of prefer it like this, you know. Use it nine. <laughs> Giving themselves as much width as it does come up for five seconds, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got Amy Kincaid in the corner. Hey, mate, stop counting! Why is Dan Goggins suddenly like Pele? He is actually Pele. Oh, you almost bombed that. Yeah, yeah. I went you for the almost cheapest step inside and uh, I better get his conversion now to make it worth it. Come on, Finn. Don't let me down. He's got a beard. <laughs> he has. No support, Craig. Oh, I was offside. Because I thought the ball was coming out and I was trying to do the line speed. Oh, lovely. Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought I got him out. Yeah. Should we, should, should we have a look at that on the replay? I think we should. I think we should tear him over that. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh, oh, that is quite close, isn't it? Ooh, he really I think, has the, to die for I think it. the right arm slams it down. There's no instant replay. Oh, that's a shame. What is this? A game from before Rugby World Cup 2011. More like Rugby 50 22. Alright, lads. No! Oh, no! 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 Oh, oh, oh. I thought that was going to come off. I thought you were going to take the. <laughs> what, the kick out on the fall? Backwards. Craig Casey again down the touchline. Craig Casey for the corner! No! Oh. <laughs> What a tackle attempt. Oh, 12 all still. Time for the kickoff. Coming towards half time. The siren goes, and that means when play stops, it'll be the end of the half. I like that there is something for contesting in the air as well. Like, there is yeah, 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 yeah. I've not figured that out yet. But you press a square when you're close to the same as line out. Same contesting mechanics when it happens in the air. Like, right. Which means you can actually try and box kick and like, get good at that. Right. You know, like you can try and build a game round up and unders. Which. Oh, that's fun. Hasn't really so, for any South Africans watching, yeah. <laughs> if Andre Pollard is watching this video, the Fijian finishes. Peter Goddam Omar. That looks nothing like Omar. That looks absolutely. He's, he's white for one. He's clearly a Fijian. We've seen him play the last few years. Big second Again. half coming up. Yeah. Big second half. Decent performance that from me. I was yeah. going to say from Rassing. Oh, but... Ooh, what a ball! By <laughs> by oh, oh. Didn't need to throw it though. It's a needless risk. That, that ball was hanging in it. the air was very good. Under the post, wasn't it? It was like heart in the mouth moment. Right? Yeah. Oh. We, you can tell we're at a tense point because we started kicking for territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ball by Damien Dielander. That's nice. Uh, Conway's great in the air. Yeah. No! No, Gavin Coombs! No! He's, he's no. done a me. No. He's done a me. No. See, it's difficult, isn't it? <laughs> that went dead. I was trying to box kick with this. Oh. I don't know what the button is. I just saw it with Finn Russell and thought, I've got to, got to just try something risky. I appreciate it. It was almost, you know, it sort of worked for you. And it's wide. 79th minute, and it's 70 19. <laughs> you don't sound so infused, mate. No! What a victory! What a win for Racing! For Racing. What a win! I didn't think I would win a game after those, those few, but... That was a very good game. That was very good was, Yeah. Very good scale figure Look how infused well. he is. Good game. Well played. Well played. That was, that was a tough one, that was. I enjoyed that. And with that crushing defeat, we decided there was only one thing to do. Play a free test series between Italy and Japan. 
Having since gone back to play Rugby 20 for comparison, 22 really does feel like a big step forward when put next to each other. The breakdown is still fiddly for newcomers, but notably quicker and simpler than two years ago, and has tactical fallout now. Heavily committing to rucks to chase turnovers has a very notable impact on your defence, as does risking one-man rucks to speed up your ball and attack. Scoring a try through grinding phases and adapting your team's shape on the fly, because the opposition has your number, is satisfying in a very different way to stringing together 30 offloads in Rugby Challenge 4 or pulling off solo spectacles as Brian Habana in Rugby 08. The loss of the Premiership licence, however, does really hurt the game and feel huge. It just limits the number of teams to play as, meaning an uncanny amount of players will end up selecting Benetton or Argen because there's relatively few club size to select from. And the lack of a player editor is frustrating, especially when players are often lacking their regular positions on the official stats. But Whilst Gus dreamt of a world where rugby would have its own game to bring in new crowds, Rugby 22 instead is very much a title for those who already love the sport and want to experience the modern game in a refined, digitalised way that is fun to play. But the edges remain rough and you've kind of got to stick with it a bit in order to get the hang of it, in order to really get the most out of it. But in a world where a sentient box of Christmas meat Bill Beaumont isn't commissioning EA to make a title anytime soon, I'm very glad this game exists. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with Rugby 24. Thanks for watching that and on behalf of him as well. Thanks, on behalf of me. Um, we are going to put the test series between Italy and Japan up for Patreons. That's going to go up soon in the next week or so. And it's genuinely it. very good. It was very exciting. It was proper. It came down to the, really came down to the wire. We really, intended to play one test and enjoyed them all so much we did three. It just kept going. It just kept going and going and going. We're going to do that. That's going to be up soon. Yeah. Uh, we also have a video on Italy. And I think some really interesting things going on with Italy at the minute. That's all coming uh, on Monday. All being well. Um, and then beyond that, you know, we've got a Six Nations preview, and then we've got a bloody Six Nations happening, as well as the podcast, uh, which, you know, is at the minute covering all sorts of things. If you want to have a new favourite for G and fullback, tune in tomorrow for the Fiji Argentina episode, the first ever upset in the history of the World Cup. Otherwise, um, we'll see you very soon for that Italy video in a couple of days' time. Thank you very much, and farewell. Uh, it'll be free, won't it? Come on. <laughs> Whatever the highest yeah. number is. <laughs> <laughs>